We are experiencing some extraordinary times with COVID-19 and stay-at-home orders. So for everyone's safety, interviews and segments that I've had scheduled have been postponed. So get ready. The Casey Malone Show is digging into its archives and bringing you some of our greatest hits. Enjoy, stay positive, and then I'll be working on some new recipes and lining up some new segments. And we will be back with you very soon with some new programming. Please stay safe. Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we visit the Dorothy Day House, a warm welcome and respect for all who visit. But first, it's the thrill of the hunt. I go in search of morel mushrooms, and if we're lucky, I'll prepare them for you. It's time once again for a Casey Malone Show Greatest Hit Flashback. When spring is sprung, so have the morel mushrooms. Experienced morel hunter Sam Coiro took me under his wing in search of the highly prized morel mushroom. What a great day. All right, we're on the outskirts of Newcastle. Right. And my friend Sam here has agreed to take us morel mushroom hunting. And you never know if you catch one or not, right? We might be unlucky. We won't get any. Well, we Hopefully might be really we'll... lucky. I'm going to be your lucky charm today. All right. Yeah, so I got we... my lucky hat. And I got my lucky hat. <laughs> and uh, we are ready to go. So and Bill got his. These are such a treat. Bill, I right? cannot wait. That's right. Bill's got his hat on. We'll have to show you in that later, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you got to be careful now. I'm a pro. I'm talking about I'm talking about these trees. Oh, I grew up in the woods, so. Okay. As long as I don't step in any bear trap, I'm good. Oh <laughs> gosh, I just have a feeling we're gonna find some. I just know it. No, uh, I hope you're right. Do they grow in bunches? Sometime. They could be anywhere, you know. They could really be anywhere. That's what's so cool. Well, I'm Unless... gonna look around the base of this tree. The last two years we haven't done good. You know, I go online to figure out proper technique, but I think Sam would know better than I would. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Darn You're it, welcome. Darn it, darn it. You really wanted me in <laughs> that didn't mud, fall didn't in. you? The weeds are getting high, and so, they're even going to be hard to see if they are there. Yeah. If we find cobble, I'll show you why, because they're so hard to find. Looks bad, looks bad. I could see tracks. You know somebody was here. See over here? Over the years, we always found them here. All the time. Every year we would come over, we would find them over there. Where's she at? She's coming? You know what, Sam, I think I found a shriveled up one. You did? I think I did. Did you get it? I, I took it. You took it? That's a nut casing. You know. Um, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> I got all excited. It's a walnut casing. I know, but I thought maybe, look at, see how it has like the ridges, like the morels. It, and then does that look like the root? No, okay, am I really? Looks Am I hallucinating? <laughs> that clearly looks like a, a walnut. <laughs> Remember, morels come up on their own schedule, not when you have time to hunt. No luck in the first area, so Sam took us to another spot for the elusive morel. I found one! <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, I'm for free! Does that mean there's more around here, Sam? How do we get this out, Sam? Do you cut uh, it? You just, you could cut it with your finger like this. Go just ahead. go way down. Yeah. Ooh. That's good. That's that good. good. Oh, that's great. I'm so glad. Me too. I am glad. Okay, so they're yellow now. 
That was a brighter color than the gray one you had back at the house. Right, right. That's great. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. you uh -oh. find some? Uh-oh, I found one. Okay. Come and get it, baby. Oh, <laughs> I see two. Wait, three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see three. You see three? One, <gasps> two, Oh and my three. gosh, look. Now these are a deeper gray. These are the, like the ones you got, right? Yeah. Okay. You did it, you did it. You did it, that, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Mushroom hunters, we That's did good. Right. And if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have had any. Well, it's you a, found it. I was a little worried about going to the second area, but boy, that one—that's where we struck gold. Yeah. And now, you've got to tell me, Sam, the best way to prepare this. I told you, get little butter. Cut them. Make sure you clean them. I know you. Well, you might want to cut them in half because sometimes there's little creatures in there. <laughs> okay. And uh, then you. Let them stay in the water for a while, and you change the water a couple of times, and salt them in uh, butter. Or you want to do a couple with an egg, you can do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, but I like that idea of asparagus too, the yeah. two, you know, nice the spring asparagus, vegetables. Right. Or you, if you cook a steak on a grill, you might want to... Just put a couple, little on top. Yeah. Thank you. I Great. can't thank you enough. <laughs> oh, really? I I really well, listen, appreciate I, it. I was worried. I didn't think we was going to get any. <laughs> I said, oh my. She's going to think I'm taking her words. There's no mushrooms. This is the best. And we did great. I've got a new hobby. Uh -oh. You and me, we're teaming up. <laughs> <laughs> I got news for you. I'm getting old for this. No. <laughs> oh my God, that Casey Malone show is the best. She's the absolute funniest person I've ever met in my life. In bringing you the local flavor of the region, I have many friends that own and work in restaurants, bars, and taverns. During this COVID-19 crisis, I'm asking that you support them through carryout orders. On WFMJ.com, there is a complete listing on the Restaurant Carryout and Delivery Guide. Your continued support of these businesses is necessary to ensure that they will be here for us when this crisis is over. Hi. I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. RS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RS Paint. Mayflower Wilm is your full service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, Farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old Road Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. 
given is living. Si hablas predominantemente español, te ayudaremos a aprender inglés. Ven a trabajar para nosotros. This cooking segment was fraught with peril. Morel mushrooms, they are very rare, very hard to find, and have a very limited season. So you saw me in the woods with Sam. We found these beautiful morels. I came back to the kitchen, and I prepared them on camera. It was a great cooking segment. Well, Bill goes to edit the segment, and while he's doing it, there's a power surge in his home, and he loses all of the footage. So now I have to scramble to find more morels. And Sam Coiro is the hero because God love him. He had some that he had frozen, thank the Lord, and he had some that he had dried. So we do have morels to reshoot this cooking segment. Thank you, Sam. I owe you big time. We are going to do the exact same recipe and hopefully we will retain this footage. So, morels with fresh spring asparagus, a little bit of butter, a little splash of sherry, and salt and pepper to taste. And that's it because we do not want to hide the wonderful, nutty, sweet taste of the morel and they are really complemented with the asparagus. So, let's get started and we will make this morel asparagus saute. Before Sam freezes the morels, he already cleans them and slices them to make sure all the debris and the bugs that may be in there are gone. But with the dried ones, he just lets these air dry. So we'll put these in just regular water and we'll get them plumped up and bring them back. But these have not been cleaned yet. So we'll just sit these in this bowl of water for a few minutes to reconstitute them and then we'll use these in the recipe too. It's been about five minutes and these have softened up nicely. My father-in-law, Bob, says another nice way to uh, reconstitute uh, the morels is with white wine. So we'll have to give that a try the next time I'm fortunate enough to get them. So you can see that a lot of the debris has fallen off. Let's slice these and make sure we don't have any visitors inside and make sure they're clean. Oh, they look pretty good. Look at that. Very nice. No little friends or bugs in there. All right, I ripped that one. And then we'll just slice all of these open and then we'll head over to the stove and start the saute. Over medium high heat, I'm gonna drop in two tablespoons of unsalted butter and I'll melt this down until it gets foamy and then I'll add the mushrooms. The butter's melted, nice and foamy, and now we add the morels. And we will cook these about three to five minutes, draw out some of the juices, and then we'll add the blanched asparagus. And this is a very quick, very simple, and a really easy, tasty dish. These smell amazing. We've drawn out the liquid. Much of it has evaporated, so now's a good time to add the blanched asparagus. And we're just going to stir this until everything is warmed through and the two flavors meld together. The final step is a splash of dry sherry just to enhance the bouquet of the morels. Just a little bit in there. Oh! Finish it off with a little salt and pepper. And these are ready to be eaten soon. This is my father-in-law, Bob Tarosi, and he is also a mushroom hunter. And when he heard that we were preparing morels today, well, he made the trip in. He couldn't stay Good away. Good to see you, Bob. Say no. <laughs> and what do you think? Uh, delicious, uh, perfect. As far as I'm concerned, it's uh, wonderful. And uh, thank you for doing this for me. Not you a problem. To, you have to try it first. Mm. I have to try it. First. You gotta make sure you like them. 
What do you think, hon? Mmm. Oh. These are such a treat. They're so delicate and unique, just wonderful in such a short season. They are very oh. delicate, very delicate. And I'll tell you, a really nice wine to pair with this is a dry rosé. St. Supri is making a beautiful dry rosé from Napa, and it just brings out more freshness and the spring flavor of asparagus and morels. I thank say you, we toast Sam Coiro for saving the day. Sam Thanks, Coiro. Sam. Sam thank Coiro. you, Sam. Love you. We really appreciate it. Cheers. The complete recipe and the preparation is available on my website. Go there. Multiple Casey Benny. Malone Multiple Show. <laughs> To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. There's a new standard in assisted living, one that combines comfort, luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services. And a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge on taping because they're gonna wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not gonna wear it forever, they're gonna pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime and we wanna make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. I am here with Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Rain, nor snow, nor coronavirus is going to keep the Magic Tree from serving you. Yeah, Casey, we're staying positive through this whole thing. You know, we, uh, we're offering 41 craft beers to go in our growlers, our crawlers. We still have your local beers to go. We have wine to go. Uh, we're gonna be open every day 11 to eight. Uh, we have 20% off for EMTs, first responders, hospital workers, uh, gift card specials. You spend 50, get 10 free, 100, get 25 free. Uh, we're also offering free kids meals with every adult purchase. So we're just basically trying to support everybody who supported us over the past, support the other local restaurants and bars also. That's right. Just go to their Facebook page and you will see what is available each and every day. They've always supported the community and now it's time for the community to support the local restaurants. Just come to the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery for takeout. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, 
Be stylish. Shop r s Paint. Monday through Thursday evenings, a warm welcome, prayers, and a delicious meal is served at the Dorothy Day House. Funded solely by private donations and extensive volunteers, House Director Sister Anne believes in the spirit of Dorothy Day. The mystery of the poor is this, that they are Jesus, and what you do for them, you do for Him. Well, we're here on a Tuesday, and I've got Charles and Karen making homemade chicken parmesan. And the sauce is homemade also? Yes, from scratch. We even uh, grind our own tomatoes. We do it every uh, September, and we jar it up, and then we split the jars all up. We do it all day long. You know, I didn't realize that you guys have a hoop house, and you were telling me that these um, greens are from St. Patrick's. St. Pat's hoop house, yeah. Um, I was talking to one of the girls from St. Pat's and I said, I'm going to make that spinach salad you like. She said, come up to the hoop house, get the stuff, because she said it's all ready. And so I went up there yesterday, picked it all. and Mary Grace is on shower duty. When um, the guests come in, what, what do they get to aid them in the shower process? We put their name on the shower list and they get um, T-shirt, briefs, or undies, uh, socks, usually brand new, sometimes gently used, and a toilet cheese packet with the usual things you would imagine. Cecile, you really do see a big change. Yes, for most of the uh, most of the people that come in, there is a change, and as I said, the one gentleman always says, "Oh, I feel 122 percent better." And some of the women will come in and they say, oh, I feel so refreshed. Sister Ann, she just knows how to pull people in and welcome them. And um, you just. Sister Ann is the key. <laughs> Sister Ann is amazing. Really? You're not just saying that because she's not standing over there? Oh, no, gosh, I love her. <laughs> but she will amaze you one time a night when she's not trying. But just the way her energy is amazing. It's just amazing. We go home and go to bed, and she still goes out and uh, collects and goes to banquets and stuff to get people to donate and stuff. And it's just amazing. She's amazing. Other than a shower on Tuesdays, you can grab an adjustment. And Dr. Asarco is a chiropractor, and you come and you help the guests, uh, you know, get back in shape and alignment. And, and this is wonderful. How long have you been uh, donating your time? Uh, I've been doing this for about a couple months now. Uh, I got in contact with Sister Ann, and she uh, graciously, you know, uh, let me come in and kind of give my service. And uh, I love doing it, and uh, I really appreciate, you know, helping people out. And it really is uh, a real passion of mine to kind of help people. Well, I mean, you do you see a big difference? Because I imagine, I mean, those adjustments and alignments are so important, and then you feel better when. Your back, neck, and everything's uh, right. We get a, a lot of uh, sort of uh, sort of quick uh, responses a lot of times with people with uh, sort of radiculopathies down your arms and headaches and uh, just your general ne neck and back pain. You see uh, the sort of those instant changes, and uh, you know the people here they really love it, and uh, I, I love it too. Just seeing uh, you know the smile put on their face after an adjustment. Uh, if you've been in, you're in sort of that kind of chronic pain state or just uh, kind of just chronic stress and you, you see that kind of little release and it, it, it kind of brightens their day. Sister Ann is the director here at the Dorothy Day House. Sister, I've gotten the grand tour from you and every room and every corner, it is more amazing with the service you provide here. Yes, yes. Four years you're going on here at the Dorothy Day House. What was your inspiration to begin this mission? Dorothy Day actually and Dorothy Day comes to us out of the Great Depression of the 1930s and um, the radical needs of the people of God especially the poor and certainly that's been our experience these last four to eight years in this country and especially in Youngstown so it was a much needed home for people it's a much needed community experience and it's a great opportunity for many of us who bond as volunteers and as community members to address justice. When you refer to social justice, I know you are very involved with human trafficking and educating those around us, uh, you know, about human trafficking. Because I think a, a lot of us don't realize that it occurs right here in our community. 
How is the outreach and getting the word out? How is that going? Well, I think the the best thing that happened for us is that we had nine of our members agree to be trained to become presenters for the whole question of human trafficking. And it was a big sacrifice on their part, but also an opportunity that um, they perhaps never dreamt that they would have. And there is a document that a lot of people like to look to, and they call it the Aims and Means. And that's online, and you just go in, Catholic Worker, Aims and Means. Mm -hmm. It's rather philosophical and deep in its um, language, but it's simple in its facts. And that is the expectation that every Catholic worker house will have a community. It will be a community experience for those who walk through the doors. Every Catholic worker house throughout the country would have two prime interests. The one would be extraordinary hospitality, especially for the poorest of the poor, mm -hmm. and some form of outreach in regard and action in regard to injustices that afflict the poor. And you're always looking at peaceful resistance. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.